Hey everybody, I want to do a reading on November 8th, 2022. That's the day of the midterms. I just want to see what comes up for November 8th, 2022. Specifically the midterm elections. But November 8th, 2022, I want to see what the energies look like on that day. November the 8th, 2022. November 8th, 2022. Let's see what it looks like. November 8th, 2022. I'm going to do a whole Celtic cross on it. Okay, let's see. November 8th, 2022. What does it look like? In the center. What do we have? Page of Cups in reverse. So Page of Cups is surprising news, but it's in reverse. So that may just suggest that it's not anything dramatic, but we'll see what the challenging card is. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about choices. And making the right choice. So that's the challenge is to make the right choice. Nothing too surprising. So it looks like it's not going to be anything too surprising. According, or that's what the center of this reading is saying. Let's see. At the bottom. Now this could be the foundation. It could be something in the subconscious that's unknown. Or it could be a reason why. Let's see. What do we have? Knight of Swords. So this is the activist. So some, some um, the uprising over things like Roe v. Wade. Um, the, act, the activists will have a, definitely have an effect on the turnout in the election. Let's see, in the past. This is something in the past that is affecting the future. Eight of Swords, feeling restricted. And of course, in the Eight of Swords, it's always a woman that's being restricted. Or depicted as being restricted. So restrictions placed on women is going to affect the election. It is going to be big, big effect. Roe v. Wade. On the mind, this can also be... Um, Something that is being thought about, known, or advice. Let's see. We have, what do we have? The Nine of Cups in reverse. So that suggests um, not being satisfied. Um, or possibly some wish not coming true is what's on the mind anyway. That's not... Um, that's not a higher way of thinking. You should always, you know, think positively. Let's see, in the near future, in the near future, November 8th, 2022, Six of Cups in reverse. Um, so Six of, Cup, Six of Cups up, upright is memories, usually fond memories of the past. Um, it's... It's in reverse. Whew, that's, that's suggesting to me that something's going to come up again that's not pleasant um, in the near future. Let's see. Almost like a negative repeat, but let's see. We'll keep going. In the U position for November the 8th, we have six of rods, victory. So a huge victory. Someone who is seen as a hero. It's going to be a victory, a, a huge a victory for one side or the other. Let's see. In the environment, what do we have? High priestess. High priestess in reverse.
Um, High Priestess is, is intuitive energy. It's also an environment because she's reversed of secrets having been revealed. So a lot's going to come out before the election that's going to affect the election. A lot of secrets coming out, which we already see happening now. Let's see. In, in ho the hopes and fears, seven of pentacles, reaping what you sow. I think there's a lot of hope for reaping what people sow on both sides um, of the issues, the good and the bad. Let's see. And then the outcome is, ooh, the devil in reverse. The devil in reverse. Stepping into your power. This is actually stepping into your power. So there are, this is showing me that, th I mean, this is really showing me, which is interesting, that this is, that, that the Roe v. Wade thing is a big deal um, with the election. And it's going to show, it's going to show in the results of the election. It's going to show. Um, I do see a little bit of a problem before, maybe right before the election here with this reverse six of cups. But this may also be telling me simply that things aren't, are, have changed. They're not, they're, they're going to be, um, this could also indicate a not repeating the past. So I definitely, I definitely see a, re, a, a release from a, a stepping into power, a, a stepping into power, which again, we've already started to see this with um, in several states where um, the new registered voters um, have increased uh, more among uh, females than even males. So there's a lot of women who are very anxious to vote in November. And it's going to show, it's going to show it's going to show in the results. And that's the overriding thing about uh, November 8th is that energy of women getting out and voting. Thanks, everybody.